Hey everybody, welcome back to Heat My Shorts. Hope your day's been going well. It's snack time, and I've got some sour, big, chewy nerds. And Philip Extremes, fire in the hole. I'm gonna review these first though. <laughs> Before I add the heat to them, as I usually do. So, sour, big, chewy nerds from Ferrera Candy Company in Chicago, Illinois, USA. I used to really enjoy the little boxes of nerds. You still see them around from time to time, although I feel like there used to be a wider variety of flavors when I was a kid. But now they have these, and there's a few different flavors of these ones, so I'm going to review them. Actually, this will be the, I think, the last variety to review. They're sweet and crunchy on the outside, and sour and chewy on the inside. Mmm, yeah, I don't really feel like reading these ingredients out. Not that it's a painfully long list or anything like that, I'm just, you know, it's a candy. I don't, it's not a health product, it's, it's a candy. It's a sweet, it's a, I'm sure it's going to be delicious though, not, you know, talking down on it. Nerdscandy.com is their website. Product of Mexico. Interesting. Okay. I was wrong. It's not a product of, well, it's manufactured by Ferrera Candy Company of Chicago, Illinois. Imported by, you don't need to, you don't, you don't care, do you? Sorry. <laughs> Let's open these up and see what they're like. It says that there is watermelon flavor, there's strawberry lemonade, there's blue raspberry, and there's blood orange. There they are. <laughs> yeah, let's open these up now. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this without scissors. Yeah, not too bad. Hmm. That smells sweet. Here's what they look like. Let's try them out. Here's a green one, which is watermelon. Sour, big chewy nerds. Eat my shorts. Hmm. I don't know if I'm getting watermelon from that. It's an interesting flavor. It's not bad, but I don't get watermelon there. Well, I'm gonna review them as a whole. I'm not gonna review them one by one. Here's an orange one. This is blood orange flavor. I am getting a sour orange flavor from that one. Here's the strawberry lemonade. Mmm. I'm getting that candy strawberry flavor, but not a lot of lemonade flavor. Here's the blue raspberry. Yeah, it's sort of blue raspberry-ish. Okay, those are not bad. They're not as sour as I thought they would be. They have a little bit of sour to them for sure, but I kind of, I don't know why, why I thought they would be more sour. For a flavor rating, I think I'd give these like, maybe a six and a half out of 10. I'm just now remembering what nerds tasted like. How they had that kind of chalky, cooling sensation to them. And these actually do kind of have that.
Yeah, not bad. Six and a half out of ten for a flavor rating. Sour rating. I'm gonna try to give it a sour rating out of ten. For a ten being the most sour thing I can imagine, a zero being absolutely not sour at all. I'd say maybe like a four out of ten. Maybe even a three. It's tough to say. I've never really thought about the the sour scale before. But these are pretty good. I recommend these to you if you like nerds and you're looking for a bigger, chewier, sour version of them. Mm -hmm. The strawberry lemonade one is my favorite one, by far. I'd give that one a 7.5 out of 10 <laughs> for a flavor rating. So, I'm going to add some pepper tincture to some of these now. Some fire in the hole from Philip Extreme. I'm almost out of this stuff actually, getting right down to it. But, I think this would be a nice way to add some heat to these. It's an unflavored tincture, pepper flavor only. I've got my, <laughs> my Rummy Bear spoon. Funny story actually, I always give it a a test taste before I use it in a video to make sure it's not overly saturated with tincture or something like that. Well it was, it was very very spicy. I'm not sure what I used this for last, but it was spicy for sure. Um, I mean it was probably almost for sure on a video, but it didn't, I'm not sure what it was, but it was spicy. I actually just hung out for a little bit after that before starting this video because I wanted to start with you know, more or less no burn happening. But we're all good now. I'm going to add some tincture to some of these. I'm going to start with the watermelon one. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably do one of each. I'm going to grab one of each out right now. Put them on my napkin on this plate here. I mean, napkin on the table. And let's try this out. I think I already did the hold it up thing, like maybe even twice. So let's just get right into it here. Oh, did I just smell them? No, I didn't. It sounded like I did. So first I'm gonna start with the watermelon one. It's probably my least favorite out of them, I think. Hmm, how am I gonna do this without spilling? I guess I should just remove the lid of this first. There we go. And I'm not adding a lot. I'm adding like a drop to each one. Because these aren't going to hold a lot of tincture, right? It's just a, a round, bumpy thing. <laughs> so let's add a drop to this one. And then I'm not going to talk much in between them. I'm going to eat all four and then give you my thoughts afterwards. Maybe two drops. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> so. Sour Big Chewy Nerds and Philip Extremes Fire in the Hole. Keep my shorts. Oops. <laughs> I dropped it. It almost seems like this fire in the hole has developed more of a sweetness to it. It tastes like it's adding more sweetness to these. It's got a pretty good kick for sure. Pretty good flavor. Nice sweetness. This adds a really nice sweetness. I'd have pretty sinister burn actually. That was eight drops for a flavor rating. 
I'll we'll probably give that a 7 out of 10. A nice little bit of sweetness and pepper flavor added to it. Great burn. Did I say 7 out of 10? 7 out of 10. For a flavor rating. <laughs> I'm second guessing what I said before now, but that's okay. We're just going to go with it. My heat level now. Easily a 3 out of 10. Easily. Um... Yeah, lips are scorched, my throat is quite lit up, the roof of my mouth, my tongue, it's kind of all over the place in my mouth, my throat. <laughs> that was funny, the dropper just got caught on my beard. This was a good combo, and I would mix these together again. I do have a little bit more of this, and quite a few of these, and some time while I upload this, so maybe that'll be my snack. Actually, maybe not, because I need a spoon to do that. It's not just a snack in the hand, you know what I mean? Anyways, I would do this again. <laughs> this was a good little snack. It's got me quite, quite lit up. Lit up maybe sounds like a too strong of a word, but good burn for sure. So, I think we should ha have a hangout with Maggie. She's back on her couch again. <laughs> so let's go say hello to her for just a just a couple moments. She's such a good dog. I think she was facing the other way this morning, wasn't she? I think so. Yeah, she was over there. She's so funny. I mean, she didn't do anything funny just now. I'm not thinking of something funny she did. But she is funny. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. How you doing? Oh, you look sleepy. You got a dirty face. You got a dirty face. <laughs> That's okay. You're allowed to. You're such a good dog. It's getting my nose running a little bit. That's kind of surprising. Eight drops. Impressive. Oh, look at you. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, go get this video wrapped up, and I think that's about it for today as far as videos go. Definitely doing less twofers these days. Just leaving more time for other things. Naps included. <laughs> Naps and snacks. And flight simulator. Although less of that the last few days for sure. Anyways, this was a good snack and a good burn. And this was a nice little hangout. I want to thank you all. I don't say this enough. I am so grateful that you all listen to me and my struggles. Um, you're so welcoming. You're so understanding. You're so gentle with me and I really appreciate that. The internet really can be an, an absolutely savage place. And for some reason, we don't really get a lot of that stuff around here. It's supportive comments, kindness, I don't know, genuine interaction in the comment sections. I appreciate that so much. I appreciate that you are open to... You let, let me talk about my demons, my bad days. You, you're okay with me complaining and you don't like people don't make fun of me for it. That's That's amazing. Thank you all so much That is part of like a, a small not a small part, but a piece of the pie a piece of the puzzle of Why this channel is Really so easy to keep it going. I know sometimes I talk about it's a lot of work and I think about shutting it down and stuff like that, but it really is pretty easy to keep it going. Um, so I just wanted to say that. I wanted to thank you all. From the bottom of my heart. From the bottom and the middle and the top of my heart. From my entire heart. Thank you all so much for all this time together. For being so understanding with me. I love you all. This entire thing means the world to me. It means so much to me. So thank you. In this corner you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. In this corner, nerdscandy.com, and up here some playlists or content for you to click and enjoy. Hope you'll have a great day. I love you all so much. 
We'll hang out again sometime soon, I promise. It's been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.